Hey everyone, Scoop Science here, and welcome to the 500 subscriber special. Earlier this week, my channel reached 500, and then 600, and almost 700 subscribers, but this is specifically 500 subscriber special. And I'm bringing back this. If you don't recognize it, this is the uh, a horrible play button that I tried making for my 100 subscriber special. But anyway, I've brought it back, and I've got here copper sulfate solution. I'm gonna try to copper plate this play button. So let's do it. So I'm just going to transfer this solution to a smaller jar. There we go. Now here's the little play button up close. You can see um, from the video there this uh, didn't really turn out too well, so I had to kind of cut around it and turn it into something that looked kind of good-ish. So that was what I got. Um, but now I have, so this will be the, I believe it's the cathode, and this copper foil here will be the anode. Um, I could be wrong, it could be the other way around, but that's what I think it is. And I've got my power supply here, just hooked up through a little converter, so it is bringing 240 volts down to about 12. Okay, so now, quick test, bubbles are being produced off of this one here. So that means I would like to connect this one up to the play button and this one up to the copper. So when this copper foil is in there, that um, actually dissolves it even more into the solution and this one will just attract the copper ions creating a nice little uh, layer. So I've just made this thing for it. Um, so the way it works is I can sit on like that. I can lower that, have it hanging over the um, edge of the jar like so and then a little holes up the top so I can um, put that through the hole like that um, now the jar is quite small maybe a bigger jar would have been helpful anyway I'm following through this is how it's gonna go I think I'm ready to try this so let's put it in I hope this works I need to have that hanging up it's uh, plating the actual, this thing, a lot more than the actual play button. Which was obvious. Oh, but I think I do see some plating happening off on the side here. Anyway, I'll just sit that there for a little bit and see how it goes. Okay, so after about maybe 10 minutes of having the play button in there, you can see this thing has got a nice coating. And also this has lost its really nice blue colour. It's turned a bit greenish now and it's got heaps of like bits of copper. You can see heaps of copper at the bottom there. It's like copper powder. But yeah, so it was 10 minutes um, and here's what this looks like now. At the start it wasn't really coating at all. But I left it in there for a bit and look at that. And at the back you can see there's a patch. That's because that's where it was sitting on the um, little holder that I had but um, overall yeah it's not too bad the coating is very solid as well so it stays stays on there real nice so which is really cool it's like a nice little texture for it too so not a solid uh, copper coating um, but yeah that is now from the 100 subscriber play button to the 500 subscriber play button so I just want to thank you so much for 500 subscribers um, I'm, I'm now at about 660 something, somewhere around there, but yeah, so thanks so much for that, I'm really, really stoked, I just blew up quite a lot throughout the week, which was really awesome, but yeah, that is that, there was some very, very amateur electroplating, but anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.